According to the Naval Vessel Register and published reports, the United States Navy now has about 490 ships in both active service and the reserve fleet, with another 90 either in the planning and ordering stages or under construction. Out of 490 ships, a few of them will be decommissioned soon. Today, let's have a look at only the 10 heaviest warships of USA that will retire from service in 2022 to 2023. The USS Bunker Hill CG-52 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser that was commissioned on 20 September 1986. She is home ported at Naval Base San Diego in San Diego, California, and Bunker Hill has been in service in the Persian Gulf during the Gulf War and deployed off the Somalian coast to prevent piracy. The cruiser has forward deployed to Yokosuka, Japan and has performed missions in the Pacific, including monitoring missions during the Third Taiwan Strait Crisis. The ship was planned to be placed out of commission in reserve in 2023. The USS Lake Champlain CG-57 She is again the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser in the United States Navy. She is the third ship to be named Lake Champlain in honor of the Battle of Lake Champlain, which took place during the War of 1812. She was commissioned 12 August 1988. She has been to the Persian Gulf on multiple occasions, first as a part of Operation Desert Shield, then later following Desert Storm. She aided in the evacuation of the Philippines during the Mount Pinatubo eruption while transiting to the Persian Gulf. She will be decommissioned next year in 2023. The USS Mobile Bay CG-53 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser that entered service with the United States Navy on 21 February 1987. She is named for the Naval Battle of Mobile Bay during the American Civil War in 1864. Mobile Bay was operated in support of the 2003 invasion of Iraq. She was steamed into Tokyo Bay as a part of Carrier Strike Group 3. She conducted in the Gulf of Oman in Operation Fury Vigil, Persian Gulf. She is scheduled for decommissioning in 2023. The USS San Jacinto, CG-56 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser that was launched on 11 November 1986 and commissioned on 23 January 1988. She distinguished herself on her maiden deployment by providing strike warfare capability during a rare aircraft carrier gap in the Mediterranean. In December 2020, the U.S. Navy's report to Congress on the annual long-range plan for construction of naval vessels stated their intention to decommission the ship in fiscal year 2022. The Navy again asked Congress for permission to retire the ship in 2023 budget request, so probably by next year it will retire from service. USS Vicksburg CG-69 This Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser was commissioned on 14 November 1992. She was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding at Pascagoula, Mississippi. She participated in Operation Deny Flight and Operation Provide Promise, serving as an airspace command and control platform. In March 2003, she was assigned to Naval Service Group 2. On 16 February 2007, Vicksburg was awarded the 2006 Battle E Award. She was part of Carrier Strike Group 12, which was led until December 2012 by USS Enterprise CVN-65. She is scheduled for decommissioning in 2023. USS Port Royal CG-73 She is a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser commissioned in July 1994, and she is the 27th and the final in the class. She was first deployed on December 1995 as a part of the Nimitz Battle Group Carrier Group 7. She participated in Operation Southern Watch, Global War on Terrorism, and in December 2020, the U.S. Navy's report to Congress on the annual long-range plan for construction of naval vessels stated that the ship was planned to be placed out of commission in reserve in 2022. The USS Hue City CG-66 The Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser was commissioned on 14 September 1991. 
As the only U.S. warship named for a battle that took place during the Vietnam War, Hue City has had the opportunity to reach out to the veterans of the battle for which she is named. She has done so frequently by holding a memorial for the Battle of Hue annually every year the ship should deal permits. On 23rd September 2022, the Navy held a decommissioning ceremony for Hue City at Naval Station Norfolk. USS NZO CG-68 She was a Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser of the United States Navy, named for the site of beachhead invasion of Italy by Allied troops from 22 January to 23 May 1944. She had participated in an exercise in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom to conduct anti-terrorist operations in the coast of Somalia and few more. On 22 September 2022, Anzio was decommissioned at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia after 30 years of service. USS Monterey CG-61 This Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser was in service with the U.S. Navy since 16 June 1990. She was built at Bath Ironworks in Maine. In 1992 and 1993, Monterey was part of Carrier Group 6, whose flagship at the time was aircraft carrier USS America, CV-66. She participated in Joint Task Force Operation at Sea in the European Theater. She served as the Adriatic Cruiser in support of United Nations resolutions in Operation Sharp Guard, Deny Flight, and Provide Promise. The ship was decommissioned on 16 September 2022 during a ceremony at Naval Station Norfolk. USS Vela Gulf CG-72 The Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser was commissioned on 18 September 1993 at Naval Station Norfolk. She was the second ship named for the Battle of Vela Gulf. She had conducted operations in the Persian Gulf, Northern Arabian Sea with the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, Gulf of Oman and Gulf of Aden. On 4 August 2022, Fella Gulf was decommissioned at Naval Station Norfolk following just under 29 years of service. Her final fate is unknown at this current time. And that, guys, was the 10 heaviest warships of USA that will retire from service in 2022 to 2023. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.